Guardians, it's Step Your Game Up. We're here with another video. I just wanted to say thanks for all the support, all the views so far. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that notification, hit that share. Let's uh, get right into it. I really appreciate you guys once again. Let's go into rank. Enter. So we're going to go with a different deck today. It is my artifact deck. I wouldn't really... Well... It is my artifact deck, I guess. Uh, it has a lot of artifacts. Uh, it has the path where every time I create an artifact, uh, every time I put an artifact on the field, I create a, a creature based off my path's ability. So the, he's, this person is a Mithroom. Let's see. What are we going to do here today? Should I burn? I'm going to burn a purple. Get right into it. So this one's a purple, yellow deck. The thing is, uh, there's a. I really don't play this one much because there's a lot of. There's a lot of artifacts from purple that I want in the deck. I just have it made. I will start making some of the cards here soon. All right. So we are gonna burn a yellow right now. Let's burn one. And. Let's put another one of these little guys in my hand. Cool. All right, so my path ability is I plus star eight life. Whenever you create an artifact, uh, plus one energy and add one for, uh, forgeling to your hand with the mana card strength equal to your health equal to, uh, to the number of energies you have. Okay, that was a lot of reading. <laughs> All right, let's see. Should I burn another yellow? Should I burn another yellow? Should I burn another yellow here, guys? Let's see. Yeah, let's start making these uh, artifacts here. No, you know what? First, I'm going to play him. Uh, he's probably one of the best cards in this in this deck at the start of your turn your artifacts heal durability too and he gets plus one plus one for each artifact i play so i wonder what he's doing right now like he's playing four seasons and the next season is he going to be on fragile next season he's at full at the moment draw a card and then he will be at winter he will be on fragile so that's important to know depending on what he's going to play. Let's see. So this deck pretty much is. Tao last you. That's pretty much what the deck is made for. All it is made is just to try to outlast you. Have you play your strong big monsters. And then I just try to chump block them with the artifact creatures I'm going to create. Create and. That's pretty much what it's, it boils down to, I guess. What's he going to do right now? Does he have a drop right now? Because this is... Whatever he doesn't do right now, he's going to hurt. Oh, man. This is going to... Uh, I would imagine this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Dang. There's a couple cards I really don't want to play. I don't want to burn right now. But I will. I will. I have no choice, guys. Oh, I did burn my artifact. Did I really burn my other artifact? I did. I made a mistake, guys. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. I do have to burn a yellow. If I want to play my artifact. Ah, oh, guys, guys. What am I doing over here? Alright, so let's just get right into it. He's going to cost me zero. Let's see. And then when he comes onto the field, I get to choose an artifact if I want to. I, I you know what? I really don't want to. I don't want to even choose an artifact. Uh, we'll pump him up. Pump him up again. He's going to take seven. And I already burnt the car, so here we go. So he's already, he just, he just took a lot of life right now. So he's at 14 life. So he might have something to board wipe. He's probably going to give you one bright, but I really don't care. I want him to waste both of those uh, if he has them in the deck. So what he does is he plays it for five, 
gives everyone bright three. Gives member bright is like uh, poison counters. So when it's on three, it's negative three, negative three. If it's on two, it's negative two, negative two, and so on and so on. One, only one. I think bright three is the most you can, uh, the most they have in the deck currently right now. Yep, there it is. That you know what? I really didn't mind that. I didn't care about that at all. I did not care about that at all. I kind of wanted that to happen actually, right? So. Let's burn him. Let's take advantage of this right now, right? Let's draw three cards. Because he's still going to take four. And now I can play all my... See, all my control stuff I have right now? Now I can play to my benefit right now. So, yeah, my guy's going to die. That stinks. But at the end of the day, now whatever he plays, I can control. And then play my little creatures, right? And then I have my own. So I will be holding on to this. I would probably be holding on to this. I'll probably wind up burning this at the end of the day, depending on what I draw. And he's running three colors. Good for him. I mean, that's tough. I mean, three colors. I am going to show you guys. So I am going to make... I do want to make a five-color deck, guys. I do want to make a five-color deck. And <laughs> it's going to be a little interesting, I think. Um, not that I think I know it's going to be interesting. So let's first, let's just, let's choose what he's going to draw. Cause this, um, yeah, I don't care if he locks anybody down. Uh, so what this does, destroy a creature, he draws a card. So let's let him draw, not a problem. Let's burn a card here. I have a purple available. I will burn, yeah, I'll burn a bit of this. Okay. Remember, I still have my bright three. I can still draw three cards. And I can still throw my artifact, give everyone plus one, plus one, which most likely will happen this next turn. And then whoever, if he plays a creature, whoever he leaves open, I'll just buff up right now. Okay. Cool, not a problem. So I'll I'll take that. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, Cause I'm gonna wind up taking this creature out. Cause I have the bright three, which now I'll just bait him into playing his stall guy or somebody. I don't care who he who he, who he really plays. Uh, that was a good choice because then I was just gonna um, keep making other keep making other contracts. Uh, the steam button. Oh, yeah, I would have made a couple of those. Okay. All right, thanks. Because, oh, wow. Now, I really don't even want to burn anything, guys. I don't even want to burn anything, to be quite honest with you. I'm not going to put my uh, guy down yet. I don't even think I will burn anything. Now he's at six. Guys, I really don't think I want to burn anything. Should I just burn? I'll burn him. Then we'll end the turn. Then we will end the turn. So he's at six life now. So he's going to bright me. Bright one. Which was smart. But I can destroy a creature, right? Then buff him up one. He's going to bring somebody. Okay. Please play that. Nice. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. How about I do this? Oh, guys, guys, what should I do? Because I want to play this. Because if I, I could burn this thing. Because if I destroy this, that'd be seven. 
That would be eight. I can buff him and then take it out and then still save my bright. I think I'm going to do that, guys. Yeah, let's do that, guys. Let's burn this, right? Let's kill him off. Let's play this. Let's buff him up one. Then we can fight him. Nice. I think that was I think that was a good play, guys. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I felt really good about that. Oh, right, he gained life. Oh no. That stinks. That does stink though. That does stink. But I'm going to be able to kill it unless he is smart and moves his color book over to attack him and dies. I'm going to fight it or do that. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I'm fine with that. Let's draw three cards. Let's take advantage of this. Let's draw three cards. Okay. He doesn't have overrun. He does not have overrun. All right. Let's draw a card. Let's burn a card. Then let's pump him up. He's going to take at least four damage. He's going to at least take four damage. So I have him. What he does is every time he, you use an item on him, he gets plus two, plus two. He just suppressed that card. I don't know why he would do that. I don't know why he would do that. Okay. Play something big. Play something big right now, please. Play something big right now, guys. Please. There we go. That was beautiful. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that, man. That was such a good move. Play the other one. Go ahead. Do it. Drop it. You know you want to. You know you want to. If he was smart, he, would, he wouldn't drop it right now. And he did. He couldn't help himself. He could not help himself, guys. Now I have like multiple options here, but let's just do that. And I could, wait, I have four. So I could play this. Let's put this on him. End the turn. No, I'll take six damage. That's fine. I'll take six damage. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. But what he can't afford is to take more damage. Because I am I am going to play the pike, right? Then I could play this, which transforms the minions to zero three, and it puts it back into his deck. Because he's going to put something to cover him, right? Most likely, correct? At least we're hoping. And now he also can't suppress anything. And then I should be able to actually take that out next turn. So let's see, guys. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, he copied it. Cool. Wait, did... Oh, he took that damage. Okay. Okay. Well, now, that's interesting. That is interesting, guys. But. Let's see what he does now. You're all dead. All right, let's see what he does now. Because he's going to suppress what? What's he going to suppress? My The guy in the middle? No, he took him over. 
Okay, he wasted six mana doing so. Okay. Then he suppressed my little guy, all right. Not, that stinks. That is a problem. Let's just say not a problem, that is a problem. Well, he's playing this very well. I mean, I it looked like we had to, total control of this, right? Let's see here, guys. He's going to move that over, which he loses defender, so I don't know why he would do that. But now, so let's kill this guy off, right? Should I just get rid of this? Nah, I'm not worried about it, though. He's going to keep making what? Two little guys? Maybe I should get rid of it. Maybe I should get rid of it, guys. Huh. Maybe I should get rid of it. Because I'm not going to be able to... I don't know. I, sh I, th I feel like I should get greedy, guys. What do you guys think? Let's get greedy. I'm not going to play both of them. I'm going to keep one in my hand, though. Yeah, I'm going to keep one in my hand. Uh, that stinks. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to put both on the field. Just in case he wipes the field. I'm not going to make the same mistake that he made, that's for sure. He's at six life right now, so let's see what happens. He can't... Can he suppress somebody? He cannot. He only has one energy on on it. So he has to wait till his next turn to be able to suppress something. And what I can easily do is if he does the ability again, I can fight one of them off on the sides here, on the, the left or right one. Hopefully take something out. Wait, he's also on Fragile. So he's going to copy a creature. Oh, no, he took... And then he gained life. Okay. And he's playing this real risky. He's locking me down to zero every time, but okay. Not a problem. Now what are you going to do, though? All right. And then what he's going to do, suppress what? One of my creatures. He has no choice. Okay. Okay. Then he's going to move one over, all right. All right. This is awesome, guys. This is awesome. Okay, so... First, I'm going to give you negative two, negative two. Right? Buff him up by one. She's on fragile. So I'm going to make sure she's on. Oh, I have to attack that thing first? Oh. That stinks. Wow, did they change the mechanics on this? Okay, so how about we buff him up once? All right? We'll hit him for three. We'll kill this off. And then, and I'm still not going to use that. So then we'll just do, oh, I can't do that either. Huh. Okay. We'll settle it down from right here. Well, I'm going to change, I'm going to change her to spirit anyway, right? So we can just do that. I totally, I didn't realize that lurker, I thought it was, the creature had to be next to you. Okay, so it's just blocking, alright. So he's trying to protect her. 
He's going to have to stun him. He's going to have to. Or kill that off. He has to kill that off. Okay, he stunned it. Like I said, he's going to have to do that. All right. He's playing this pretty well, guys. I'm not going to lie. He's playing this pretty well. What are we on? 20 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, no. They didn't want to play that long. Did not want to play that long, that's for sure. But let's see. So, guys, uh, I'm pretty much hoping for a bright... Something that can help me draw, maybe. Uh, what did he do? He made spells one less. Yeah, I'm not going to let that go off, though. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, let's see, man. What's he going to do? Okay, I could give my creature over, and I'm really trying to save him, though. I'm trying to save him, because I think I'm going to play him now. I think right now would be a good time. To probably, or not, right? Right? So what I'll do, because I'm going to have to give everyone the bright. I'm going to have to do it. So I can make another one, which I think I'm going to do. I'll just make another one. I'll move him over. Give everybody bright. All right. Play him here. Wait, could I still draw? Wait, I can keep doing this? I can keep doing this, guys. Can I draw? Should I draw? Yeah, I'm going to draw, of course. Why not? Then, play another one. All right. Now, I'm still going to have the overrun. If he can't take out my creature right now, I think I have this. Because I'll be able to play this and then buff up my... Buff him up one more. So he's going to waste five mana right now. This is big. This is big, guys. I'm still going to have her. This is big, guys. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen? The anticipation is real. Okay, he's going to move him over. Is he going to do it again? Is he going to be smart and move it over again? Okay. How much mana did he just waste doing that? And he just, did he just, was he able to attack? Oh, no, guys. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? So what I'll do. Is I'll give him the negative two. Right. Then I'll play an artifact. Suppressing him, he's going to die. Because he depends on how many creatures are in the graveyard. And since now there are no creatures in the graveyard, he's dead. Okay. I am... He has seven life left. I am going to buff him. I am going to buff him again. Hit him for four. I do not want to do that. I want to put him onto the field. Let's put another artifact. Okay, I cannot 
Make another one of those guys, and we'll just end the turn. Okay, he has three life. He has to put a blocker. Well, a couple of things are going to happen right now. He's, he's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to draw two cards. He's going to banish two cards. He's looking. He's digging for answers right now. He's digging. He's digging. He's definitely digging for answers right now. I'm sorry, guys. This is such a long match. And now he is... Okay. Okay. All right. But I have a couple little ideas here. So let's put an artifact down. All right. Let's fight him off. All right. Let's put my other creature down. All right, there are no artifacts, not a problem. Let's kill somebody here. Let's buff him up. That's in turn. Okay, because even if he hits my guy in the middle here, that's really not going to matter to me. You're gonna, it's going to take all three if not more, just to take him out. And now I also have this, so whatever big creature he's in the play, I'm going to be able to suppress him. Okay. He's going to play something to lock it down, maybe, I guess? Yeah. I mean, that was kind of like... Expected, I guess. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. He's going to get his bright card back. No. Oh, that was smart. Okay, that was pretty smart. That was pretty smart. Okay, so we are going to play one of, play this guy, All right? Let's draw a card. I don't really care about that. Don't care about that. Let's take him out. You know what? So he can't get a spell back? Ah, oh, this is so risky to play this, though. It's so risky. Uh, you know what? Let's attack and draw a card. Can we do that? Let's draw a card here. Okay. Play another artifact. Let's burn this. You know what? I don't want him to get another spell. I don't want him to get another spell. So, you know what we're going to do? We are going to do that. Risky, guys? I think so. I think it is. Let's put this over him. Let's go with that. That was really risky, but what I the reason why I did that, guys, because he would have done his ability, jumped over, and then been able to get a spell out of his graveyard, which I do not want him to do. I don't want him to be able to dig for more answers, right? How many cards? He only has six cards. He's going to deck out, guys. This is going to be the longest video ever. Okay. Okay. Um... We'll skip that.
We'll skip that. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be gaining life once you play a creature. But... So what he's going to do is play a creature right next to it. Okay. I thought he already played this, if, if I'm not mistaken. Am I, was, am I wrong about that? Or did he play the other one? Let's see, guys. I thought he already... Did he play the other one? I think this is the other one he played. Yeah, he did play the other one. Okay. Cool. Not a problem. Hmm. I can draw a whole bunch of cards right now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that works out. So I'm going to play him. Do two damage to opposing minions. Okay. Can I take this guy out? Can I take this little guy out? I cannot take him out. Ah, oh, so frustrating. So frustrating, guys. But I am going to burn a card. How many cards do I have left? Seven. All right. I don't, I don't need that. Okay. Let's take him out. All right. Let's play another artifact. So when I said it, it's meant to draw out the game, um, obviously you guys notice I'm not joking around by that. Because <laughs> it is meant to draw out the game. He only has five cards left. He cannot draw. He cannot draw. Even if he does that, it doesn't matter. He's locked. Okay. What are you going to do? Bring back the Bright? No, he's in a copy? A creature? Okay. I guess that's smart. I mean, he, he's got to figure I got some type of answer in here. And the thing is, guys, you want to hear something really cool? I have eight cards. I'm going to go down to seven, right? But I have him. When he dies... He shuffles back into my deck because of the of the uh, home ward crown. So something to think about. I think this game's over, guys. Because what is he gonna do? I'm gonna blow up. Well, he has 16 life. He has 16 life. That's true. He does have 16 life. Okay. So. Oh, I would have to destroy that first, right? So let's change this to that. So I don't have to do that. Bingo, guys. Great game. We did it. You know it because he, he tried to make me tack that first, right? I'm so sorry, guys. This is a 33-minute video. I really don't expect you guys to really watch the whole thing. I really hope you do. It's a really good match. It's a different deck. Something different. This is the fourth deck I played. He's a Mithril player. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't hit that like, if you haven't hit that subscribe, please do, do so right away. Share the video, guys. Let's get this more people involved. You guys get involved. Let's play. I, I'm also willing to do videos uh, for people who just start. I'll watch your games, try to uh, narrate them or, I mean, like, commentate on them. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry about that. But until next time, next time, Myth Guardians, I really appreciate it. Have a great night, all right?